What's up, guys? We're out here in the shop. Uh, I'm in my personal car, my 96 Buick Roadmaster. We're going to be using our Snap-on Solus Edge Scan Tool right here. I'm going to show you guys how to verify operating temperature or verify our coolant temperature as per what our car sees on the dash, what our computer sees that it's sending to our scan tool for data, and also what the temperature actually is. So what we need to do is we need to hook up our Solus Edge right here first. I've got our diagnostic cable plugged into the scan tool. Our diagnostic cable, the other end, is going to plug into our diagnostic port. Again, somewhere in the driver footwell. It's on right here on this car. Don't forget we're going to have a green LED illuminate when we plug our OBD cable into our diagnostic port. If we have good power, the green LED is going to illuminate and my scan tool is also going to turn on. So let's plug that guy in right here. See, so I have a green LED. Scan tool just turned on and powered up, so I have a good connection. All right. So what I need to do now, since I'm wanting to verify cooling temperature, verify operating temperature, I need to start the car. Okay. Normally, again, to scan for codes, like I've mentioned, you need to have the ignition turned all the way to run. Well, I want to verify my operating temperature right here, so I'm going to go ahead and start the car. So let me go ahead and do that. Our car is running right now, and you see my temperature gauge right here is showing between 160 and 180-ish right here. That's the bad thing with GM. These gauges are not very accurate um, just because, you know, GM's cheap and all that good stuff. Okay, so what I need to do now is I need to go into my scanner. I need to put in what vehicle this is right here. So again, we're going to select Buick. I'm going to let it go ahead and auto ID right here. So I'm going to select the top option, which is auto ID. It's going to pull up exactly what this car is. And then I'm going to click OK. So now common selections, engine, transmission, analog brakes, airbag, oil. Again, we can scroll down. Well, where is cooling temperature, engine coolant temperature? It's under engine. So I'm going to select my engine right here. And I'm actually going to go down to data display because I don't really want to see codes. I want to see data. The data is going to be what the car's computer, the car's ECU is sending this scan tool. So I'm going to select data display. Engine data one is an option. Misfire data, EGR, EVAP, accessory. I want to see engine data one. So that's what I'm going to select right here. Now I'm going to get a data list of everything that I can see right here. So as we're looking at this, my first piece of data, and I know it's hard to see, is engine RPM right here, right above the highlighted line. So that's going to be my engine speed. You see it's about 660 RPMs. I can scroll down. Right now highlighted I had throttle position. I can see my oxygen sensors right here. Open or close loop, ignition cycle, fuel trims. Mass airflow, what's my mass airflow reading? My map sensor, what's my map sensor reading? My barrow sensor, this is all pressures. My manifold pressure is my map. My barrow is what is the outside air pressure. My MAF, mass airflow right here is how much air the engine is breathing in. Coolant right here, this is what, and I'm not going to leave it highlighted because it's hard to see, but the one right below it too is also intake air. So this is kind of important. Intake air coming into the engine right now is 93 degrees. Why is it so warm? Well, I'm inside the shop, even though it's cold out right now today, but the car has been running for a while because I've been doing other tests on it. So that's the temperature of the air that is entering the engine. My coolant temperature right here, She's 165 degrees. 
right here as per what the cooling temperature sensor in the engine is telling me. Well, look at my gauge again. Again, I said it's between 160 and about 170. Well, that's about 165 degrees. So lo and behold, this little gauge right here is close-ish as to what my scan tool is actually telling me right here, 165 degrees. But how do I know if what the car is seeing, what the scan tool is telling me is actually right? Well, I need to get out and I need to verify this temperature. So I'm gonna set the scan tool aside right here. I'm gonna hop out, leave the car running, okay? Leave the car on, we're gonna get out. We're gonna walk around up here, have your hood up, or if your hood's not all the way up, pop the hood. I've already got the tool that I need right here. What I'm gonna need is an infrared thermometer. <laughs> Excuse me. This is one of our infrared thermometers right here, okay? What this is, you've got a laser beam that shoots out the end right here with some red dots. You wanna put those red dots on the item that you're wanting to take the temperature of. Well, for this test, we're gonna to want to measure the temperature of one of our radiator hoses, okay? So how this works is there's a trigger right here. The reading does not turn on until you pull the trigger. Well, when I pull the trigger, you'll see the red circle right there. That is the area that's being measured with this thermometer and then our display right here. So you see right here on this plastic shroud is 96.7 degrees. Great, but what's my coolant temperature? So I'm gonna go to my radiator hose right here and I'm gonna put this guy right there. You see this radiator hose happened to be 117 degrees. Is that what the scan tool is telling me? No. This is my return from the radiator. So this is going to be the cooler, the colder water, colder coolant returning to the engine. I need to find my output to the radiator. So that's on this side of the car. You see right there, I've got a radiator hose just peeking around right there. Let me get a better angle on it. it comes out of the water pump. So I'm gonna take my thermometer and I'm gonna shoot right at the water pump. So you see 145 degrees at that water pump, okay? Let me try to get the, therm the thermostat. 133 degrees. Okay. So you see this car right here, some cars are kind of hard to do that to verify my temperature, but I'm getting about 146, 147 ish degree temperature. The car thinks it's supposed to be at about 167 degrees. So I'm getting a little bit different reading coming out of my thermostat versus what the car is actually seeing. Don't worry so much. It depends on where the coolant temperature sensor that is getting that reading is. This car has two of them. One is on the back of the cylinder head. The other one is in the water pump and it compares those two. It watches those two. Okay. Unfortunately, I cannot shoot either of them directly with this to get a completely accurate reading. But my cylinder head right here, which conveniently is what the coolant is flowing through first, and it's also where one of my coolant temp sensors is plugged into. If you look, that cylinder head that I just shot right here My ECU said 167. My actual cylinder head temperature is 165. I would say that my car is pretty accurate as far as what those coolant temp sensors are telling the computer and what that computer is telling me 
as far as actual operating temperature. So that is verifying operating temperature. Look at the computer, see what the car sees, use an actual thermometer, and then verify what the actual temperature is. Now again, don't get confused because the radiator hoses are going to be cooler, potentially cooler, than what the car is reading. Because again, the one radiator hose was cool return from our radiator to our engine, so of course it's gonna be cooler. The other one is our hot water, hot coolant out from the engine to the radiator. Well, that only is accurate when our thermostat is wide open, okay? So again, if our thermostat's not open or not completely open, that temperature is gonna be lower than what the actual engine temperature is. The hottest part on the engine, as far as what we're worried about, is gonna be cylinder heads. So that's why we shot directly on the cylinder head and we got that accurate or fairly accurate reading. You see right here, it's warmed up a little bit because the car is sitting here running. But that's how we verify our operating temperature. We have to use our scan tool, we double check it with our thermostat, and then we move on. So there was our verifying engine coolant temperature right here.